You should put him in his crib. Okay, here we go. Oh, right, because we just ran from that dude. Thing. Control the camera. Know you. Inside and out. Won't you be my friend? No, no, I will not. You're trying to kill me. What do you expect? Assuming I gotta get over there. You don't like light. What the hell did I get myself into? Oh, I forgot I can run while you're in this. Uh. Yeah. L1 for the. Intuition. What was that? I don't know, but I want to have to be here. Jesse, the fridge is open. Wait, we're on the second floor again. Most people spend their whole lives seeing only a fraction of our reality. Lucky them. Uh, 
I have spent my whole life looking beyond the edges of our reality. Even as a child, I saw things that would break a grown man. Eventually, I grew into it. It became my normal. But that thing, it was anything but normal. I've never encountered anything like this. This ravenous. I felt lost. I came to Neva looking for answers, and all I got was more questions. What was that monster? Who was Thomas? And what did he want from me? Well, Thomas was a architect on Neva. I woke up with icy water in my veins. I wanted nothing but to get out of there. To just get up and run until my legs give out, until my lungs Welcome back collapse. Down. Oh, were you talking? But no. Well, I was. I knew I couldn't. Because of your face? It wouldn't have solved no. anything. Oh. No. <laughs> I'm outside. playing the medium. Oh. No. Did you get Sadness jumped? Sadness <laughs> needed my help. I uh, fell back down to the first floor. Oh, same. <laughs> huh? There's someone there. Don't freak out, it's just the radio. Mary and mm. Happy. You're okay. Sadness? Called up Chubbs. They had a donut. Are you okay? <laughs> you got what mad. Was that thing? <laughs> Hello? And then you gotta kill us. I call him, I call him a breadstick. <laughs> you got a breadstick now. Richard. Richard? Richard. I gotta find no, Richard. Sadness. The man I'm, I'm looking Richard. for is named Thomas. I did find him. Who's no, I have to find him. You're fucking <laughs> stupid as <laughs> shit. Day room. It's uh, Richard Dick Grayson. Day room. <laughs> You're fucking stupid. All right, day room. Yeah, Are you because trying to show me the way. That's absolutely fine. Thanks, sadness. Let's see, is there anything? I can look after her. I'm gonna assume that goes to the pool. I think I've seen this one. Holidays in the country. Ooh, what's this? I keep seeing it in my dreams, the other place, dust and death as far as the eye can see. A feeling of nothingness tearing at my soul. I wake up choking, feeling the dust burning through my lungs. Beg for it to stop. He says there's no helping it. Then again, he would say that, wouldn't he? Ooh. The daycare, the safest place for the youngest. All right. What now? Ah, the camera angle First is so Thomas, with me. then Richard. Before I knew it, I was looking for a bunch of strangers. At least Sadness was still with me. In a way. Wait, is this the pool? Oh, hey, the pool. Ah, so I was right. The pool was through that door.
Oh, well, that? that's lovely. Oh, God, it's everywhere. How many people died here? I'm rethinking my plan to go to the other end of the pool. Can I get up here? I can't. Man. Okay, I can go there because it's both gone. Let me be frank. This case is problematic. My superiors want it to go away. I want it to go away. You can see how your statement complicates that? Comrade? I... Yes, I understand. Some things don't just go away. They stick. They echo. That, oh god. So did Thomas go crazy then? Because it was in Thomas's room where we ran into that thing. The nurse. She did it. She killed them all. It was like something possessed her. The nurse? Is that really what you want us to put on record? It's what I saw. The nurse. But how? Why? Well, she was sad and upset that what's his name killed himself. of moving this. I guess there wasn't one? Cover your nose. Try not to look at them. The sooner we're done, the sooner we can get out of this place. Ugh. Definitely didn't need to feel that. Oh, I can feel the emotions too? My dearest, I wish this was it. The moment I plucked up the courage and actually sent this one seems so easy. Just throw it in the mailbox, then why can't I? Someday, I promise, I love you with all my heart. Oh wait, there's a door. I open it. Francis, what am I supposed to do with you? Once Neva shuts down, you beg me to keep you on. Once Neva shut down, you begged me to keep you on. Said you needed time to sort things out. Said you could be, be you, <clears throat> said you could be useful. But now I know you're just 
using me as an excuse like those letters you keep writing I know you never sent a single goddamn one Francis he's the one sending the postcards or rather writing them family's doing good Mr. Rakowski Rikaus I'll probably go home this next spring and summer at the latest who are you kidding Frank hell as long as you're here I can at least keep an eye on you make sure you don't get hammered and pass out in a snowdrift gets us the least I can do good old Frank too scared to live too stubborn to die sometimes I feel guilty using you like this but then I remember I need all the help I can get so Francis or Frank is the one writing the postcards locked Hey, Marianne. You look like voice shit. Slightly scared me. Are those bolt cutters? Might be useful. If only I could reach them. Hmm. I haven't found anything, though. Fucking Christ, sadness. No. Sadness? How did you? Ah, shit. Wait, is her name Sadness? Or her name Hannah? Hey, wait up. Come on, Slowpoke. I've got an idea. We're gonna show that weirdo. Oh. What, what are you gonna do? Hmm. There were some kids here. Well, um, I kinda knew that, Marianne. Was her name Lily? Ready or not, here I come. Her name's Lily. That voice. Audacity talk shit about me, I'm like, Are you getting jumped? Nah, I'm in the pool area. Oh, yeah, I was there. Um, this guy said, So, like, Sadness, oh. his name is Lily. Oh, really? Mm hmm. I didn't know. Yep. Sadness is Lily. Ah, that was the whole reason to push that out of the way. Glad I did that before. I'm yeah, I agree, because I got 15 kills. You know what I mm -hmm. told him? I said, like, you're lucky you weren't there's there on my 30 kills. Guys, 
Come on. It's dark in here. This isn't funny. I really don't like, think we oh should. God, he's a hacker. Get him. Fix him the Guys. Oh. Kids can be such assholes sometimes. Poor Lily. Or sadness, whichever one you want to call her, because she is both. Yeah, but she doesn't remember her memory. What is it? Nah, she doesn't I'm remember her real something. name, but. Oh. Okay. That is her name. What the hell? It looked back at me. I like it. <laughs> Snowdrop, huh? Why does that sound familiar? Oh. Wait, the sadness want the cat? It's not the one with fish. Is that what I'm supposed to do with it? Get the bulk colors, follow the spirit trail. Well, I did. And it led to the cat. As I got closer to the mirror, I felt a slight tug in my pocket. I could tell there was more to that figurine than just carved wood. I can feel it calling out to me. It was the first time that had ever happened. I touched the mirror and crossed over to the other side. Uh, what? What the hell is this place? Okay. Do you see stairs? Just like I was. I knew his name, but somehow that wasn't enough to send him away. It was like a part of him was missing. You think? Even I got that from his face missing. I can't. Oh, wait, I might be able to. They don't look like there's too many. Oh, come on. There we go. I want all these people. They weren't just killed. Their spirits were ripped broken beyond repair oh maybe i can find the one bernard's missing i need to look around that cat figurine was the key i can't pass through without it ah okay 
I need the cat figure. Hey, that's where those bolt cutters are. So close and yet. Oh crap! So close and yet so what? So in a different reality. Okay. <clears throat> Burn you little fucks. Except I don't know where I'm going, and the camera angle this really does not help. Wasn't it burning? Oh, it's on. Cool. It's about time you got it back. Sorry you had to go through all this. It's time for you to find peace. Bernard. Thank you. Yeah. Huh. It kind of looks like the one I used to get through the mirror. Feels yeah. like it too. Well, it would make... Stay with me. Stay. No, 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 no. <sighs> so he's going to be just hunting me down. That's cool. Holy crap. Holy crap. to see where he is. I couldn't believe it. 
That thing could travel between worlds. There was no escaping it. There's those bolt cutters again. There gotta be a way to reach them. Great. Another mirror. New details have emerged. The situation may be more complicated than we expected. No time to explain. You'll get the full report once I get back. Just leave it to me, comrade. Very meticulous of you, comrade. Hmm. Locked. Wait, do I even have the cat too? So is that a permanent thing? There's more of them. What has it done to you? Torn apart. Just like Bernard, no names, no faces, no way to help them. Nothing here. At least, not in this world. Okay. There we go. Examination. Right. Really, I don't want to. But all right, before we go, there were more butterflies that way. See the other side of this place. No, and you still there? You know, so no. What's up? Not. I got the absolute shit scared out of me. The thing can go Maw. invisible. Oh, no one. Yeah, Maw. I think its name is Maw. go invisible dude like or well not even that it's going invisible it can go into both worlds is what it is and mm. i i can't handle that i like the mirror kind of deal i don't know how to deal i i don't know how to deal with that like it can go to both worlds. I thought that was going to be my gate from it. Nope. I got to. <sighs> Honey, I miss you a lot. I really hope you can join me soon. You would love it here. The weather is great. The sun is shining. The lake is beautiful. The people are nice. Nice and dead. All of them love it. That got dark. Like, I'm thinking they got, like, brainwashed to kill. Something along the lines, anyways. Oh, there's another mirror. Oh, 
Wait, of course. I gotta go in the mirror to get down there. Shit. Okay, let me go back and finish exploring the mirror I was just in before going into another one. Like, oh my god. You know, I was not expecting this to be a scary game. I, I thought this was just like a puzzle adventure game. Although I didn't read what the game was listed as either, but I didn't think it was a scary game. I seen some stuff on this game and it didn't look, you know, seem like it was a horror game. Like, if this isn't listed as a horror game, please explain the whole dude going invisible to me, please. If this is not a horror game. Horror and mystery. Oh, it is a Okay. Oh, that's a good one. The medium is a third person but, uh, psychological? Psychological. Psychological horror game that features innovative uh, dual re reality gameplay in the original. Uh, oh, yeah, in innovative for sure. <laughs> Some sort of a conference room. I lost the dude's trail. Maybe I should have stayed. Like, the part that scares me the most is you don't know when he's gonna pop up. I gotta go. The voting's about to start. Voting? You know what they say. If you're early, you're on time. No, I mean right now. I can hear them gathering across the hallway. Yeah. Yeah, I'll let you know how it went. That voice. That's the guy. Boy. What voice? What guy? I'm so confused. Oh! That's the guy I've been hearing on the phones! Leave it to me and all that. Okay. Dude, I don't even want to run because I don't know when that thing's going to pop up again. Like, I want to run, but I don't want to run at the same time. An attendance list. I'll bet the name I'm looking for is here on this page. Absent, absent, no. But which one is it? Is it absent or present? Oh, they showed up late. Okay. It's a dude. Nicholas Anthony Waldemar? Hmm. Yes, we did. Right? Time to figure out who this dude is. Seven. Five. I think my friend Chubbs and uh, my nine. other friend Claus is uh, hitting on each other. Mm. And Chubbs doesn't even know that. Mm. <laughs> I told him, like, uh, go on, hit I on can't him. believe I they know, sat me saying. across from no, Boris. I don't care whose Nothing. nephew he is. Okay. He's just a sexist pig. Sat him there. across from Boris. And late, as always. Mm. Okay, alright. Let's, um figure out what seat Boris was in. Okay, Boris is number nine. And if I recall correctly, it's number nine. Nine is this one, right? Yeah. So that'll be this chair. Puzzles aren't too hard. Number four. Okay, so this dude's name is Nicholas. Boris. That's the guy he was talking about. Seat number nine. Oh, God damn it. Okay. Ugh. I'll go back and do it again. Okay. So this is Boris's seat. So the one I'm looking for is... This is it. The man I'm looking for. This is where he died. That's it. Nicholas. Okay, Nick. Let's get you out of here. Okay. I can smell your soul. I can taste My heart.
don't like that thing. One to go. All right, this gave me the key, which opened this door, which I believe led to another flipping mirror. Yeah, there's the mirror. Oh, God, okay. There we go. That's the one bright side to this is I don't have to worry about dying. Or, well, dying because I don't get back to my body in time, rather. No, go back. That's just the thing to interact with. Us. You didn't hear nothing, you didn't hear nothing. Go away. That woman was here. Oh. Okay. Oh. She was a ballerina? <gasps> this room has Guy written all over it. In big sloppy letters. No, the ballerina was a dude. Vivienne? Just Vivienne? No. Probably just a stage name. The artist formerly known as Vivienne. There. That's her room. Someone couldn't even let her have her privacy. 
That name, it's everywhere. But that wasn't the real you. Yeah, this wasn't her room. I'm guessing her manager's? Nice card. Was Vivienne one of your stars? Hmm. Okay, last one. I can barely feel my wrist. I don't care. I just want to go to bed. I need to be alone. Okay, let's find out who you really were, Vivian. What's that? Can we just get out of here? Huh. The page was torn out. I can't make out the numbers. Oh, okay, I need a pencil. I swear if I gotta go somewhere else for a pencil. Partial numbers. One of these must have meant something to her. I guess one of these names belongs to your true self. But which one is it? Ellie and Tori. Yeah, that's a good question. A bunch of numbers, some would say. But I sensed there was a lot more to them. Oh my god, Ellie! I thought you were... Her name is Tori, okay. No, I'm... I'm really happy to hear from you. Why didn't you call sooner? You did? But... Eugene, that slippery son of a bitch. Ellie... She was very special to her. You don't need to be a medium to see it. So, if you were talking to Ellie, that means... Tori, it's you. The real you. That's your name. It made sense, really. A name is more than what everyone calls you. It's what you feel yourself to be. Why won't you? Come on, what? That's the way I came from. Shimmy a <sighs> Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go backtrace. Since that's apparently what I have to do. No, oh, come on, go. there we go.
this is where I'm supposed to go, right? Here? Yeah, because that's where it's coming from. I came in here. That's where I had to scoot around him. Mary Ann, go back across, dude. What are you doing? No. No. -uh. No. <sighs> Loan. Am I missing something else? I mean, I figured out who she is. Wait, I didn't... I didn't get her face. That might be the issue. I know her name, but I don't have her face. This is where it happened. Ah, that was the issue, okay. Of all the places. You? What are you? No! Get out! Ah! No! Uh, no, not pleasant. Not pleasant at all. Was that her manager? No, wait, no, who are you? She didn't know who that was. Okay, I thought my game was broke for a minute. I just needed to collect our faces all. I'm not gonna lie. It felt good. Putting that curse of mine to good use. Moments like that used to keep me going. Now, I'm not sure anymore. Actually, hold on, what's that gonna unlock for Mimi? The door so I can get the bolt cutter. Okay. Pretty sure he knows we're doing this. It's okay. You can be free now, Tori. Thank you. Thank you. You did it, Marianne. Sent them away. To a better place, I hope. Hell, anywhere is better than here. I can't. Fuck these guys. Will you just let me pick you up already? No. Not the way this game works. Mr. Rekowitz is being unreasonable, to put it mildly. I'm a nurse, not a nanny. I understand that he needs someone to keep an eye on her. But I have my hands full as is. Even putting aside all my other duties, there's poor Mr. Tarkowitz, Tarkowitz uh, to take care of. Still, I try to do my best. At least the girl's quiet, keep to herself mostly, likes talking to her imaginary friends, but I figure it's quite normal for someone of her age. Sometimes I can hear her playing out full conversations, and I swear it sounds like two people talking. She really is gifted. I guess it runs in the family. She's talking about Lily. So, was Lily the...
I just got chills from that. I think Lily Sadness was the um yes. fucking finally the uh time to get back to the day room. Oh, thank God it's safe. The, uh... the daughter of the architect of the Neva. Oh. I think. I'm not too sure, but Hello, I think. my love. It's mm. your favorite nurse. But you I also kind of think the thing chasing us is the architect the of the Neva. Of you left. I hope so. Because I want you to feel everything. <laughs> oh. Uh. The nurse. It got to her first. But why? I'd never felt darkness like that before. That thing had been there. It was where it made its first kill. Okay. It tasted death. So the thing chasing us. <laughs> Got yeah. <laughs> to the nurse, which I'm guessing she got to the nurse because that dude killed himself and she was sad about it. It opened herself up to it. Right. It got to the nurse, had her kill a lot of people. But where does that thing come in at? So what? <laughs> I love you, bolt cutters. Did the architect make... <sighs> like, I got a couple of questions. I'm wondering, either A, the architect is the creature, but I don't think he was dead by the time the nurse started killing people. Or B, did he make this place to... Summon the creature in a way? Go oh my god, the camera! The camera! Almost ran on the stairs endlessly, dude. Ugh. Kinda sounds like a spy name. Cutters. Bolt cutters. Please don't compare yourself to James Bond. Or a movie star, like in a movie you don't use your real name for. Yeah. Spy name it is. Okay, I think, yeah, this is where I. Okay, Marianne. Let's see what Sadness wanted me to see. Just the nurse right. killing a bunch of people, I'm assuming. Right into the day room, aka a bunch of where a place where a bunch of the kids died. All right, at least I'm assuming. Here we go. Oh. Okay, my sound completely glitched right there. Oh god, I'm being dragged. Not completely though, cool. There you are. Thank god. You're all right. I was so worried. Oh. Yeah. That thing almost got me. What the hell is it? Uh, it came from shame. From shame. From helplessness. From helplessness. From rage. Shame, helplessness, rage. and rage. It's like anger, but more. Once it got out, we couldn't stop it. It ate all of them, Marianne. All of my friends. Your friends? I'm the only one left. It's, it's okay, Sadness. 
I'm here now. No, no. It, it'll eat you too. It, just like the others. I won't let it hurt you, I promise. Okay. Hey. Why don't you... Floating ball. Tell me something about this place. It, it's the day room. We used to play here. <laughs> With Richard? Is he one of your friends? Uh, no. But he was smart. Maybe he could help you. He was smart. Wait, is he... Uh, a bad thing happened to them. I remember he, he became hollow, like a puppet. He... Uh, oh, I remember. Marianne, I don't want to see him. What? Why not? What, what do you remember? No, don't tell them. Well, it, it's don't okay. tell anyone. You don't have to tell me. But you should still come with me so that I can keep you safe. No, no, Marianne. The sadness. No, never again. Why did you bring me here? Richard can help her, but he I became hollow. There was something she wanted me to see oh. with my own eyes. Yeah, kind of figured that. But what's with all the tendrils? Ugh. Oh. Was it an X? So what is in the daycare Marianne wants or er, Sadness wants me to see? Richard? Are you there? A sheet of music. Well, at least part of it. A music sheet, one well, part of a music sheet. Horses. Oh. Gather round, children. Richard. I want you to meet Lillian. She's going to be joining our painting class. Richard. Why can't I play with my friends, Uncle Richard? Was Your the caretaker friends? of the daycare. Oh, Lillian, I, or the day I promised your father you would spend some time with the other children. Friends. Huh? Lillian. Or Lily for short. I spent a few years trying to steer him in the right direction, trying to make him see the depth of his potential. He kept refusing, claiming that he was no painter and that he saw our little get-togethers as therapy rather than artistic expression. Eventually, I wore him down. He agreed to enter the university, but on the condition that it would be his chosen field. And so he started on his way to becoming an architect. Oh, architect of the building. At first, I was rather skeptical thinking that he was just throwing away greatness for mere competence but deep inside i guess i was glad to be the only one to bring his vision to life and then he met her our painting sessions became few and far between he no longer needed my help in dealing with his inner demons i'm assuming his wife because if lily's the architect's daughter that would be lily's mom I remember the first time I met him working a simple factory job, still more of a boy than a man. Wide-eyed, constantly looking over his shoulder like a scared animal. His parents had died in the Warsaw Uprising. Of what he'd gone through in the years that followed, he did not want to speak, and I never pressured him. But it soon became clear he had no one else in this world. I could immediately tell that despite his young age, he had seen things that no one his age should. I wish I could tell him he was special. I could immediately tell he was special. Oh my god. Okay, let's do 
I hear the... Oh, they're on the other side. Another... Okay, I'm missing one piece. Okay, those things are out there. I don't have any... Thomas, I've always been stunned by the depth and complexity of his imagination. Memorized by the surreal dreamscapes of his dreamscapes his mind would weave. Thomas, I think Lily is Thomas's daughter. The way he described them with every minute every minute detail, minute detail. It was as if he, he had actually witnessed all of it, as if something or someone pulled the veil and allowed him to peek beyond the edges of our reality. An angel a demon? Is there really any? Dif is there really a difference? I know it didn't matter to me as his visions came life, came alive on my canvas. Some would say I used the boy to fuel my wanting creativity, my waning creativity. But how could I not? To let this unique perspective, this bottomless well of inspiration, go to waste? That would be an unforgivable sin. You sound like you're a little full of yourself, my dude. Uh Don't you think he would be better off in a nursing home? What about his family? Richard doesn't have any family. Oh, the poor man. It's like he's somewhere else. We were close once, you know. I mean, not that close, but... All right. I'll take care of him. Hollow like a puppet. Isn't that what sadness said? Hmm. That is what sadness said. Okay, now I gotta go out here. But do I go left or right? Oh wait, I can't. I don't have... Don't you think he would be better? What about it? Richard does... Oh, we were clear. All right. I don't have any spirit energy. Oh, I guess I go this way. Oh, this place is packed with memories. Bad ones. Guilt, Guilt. you make. Humiliation. <sighs> that thing is Richard. Rage. It became a habit of ours. We'd sit down, sketchbook at the ready, and then he'd close his eyes and start talking. Describing all the things he'd saw in his mind's eye, the horror and splendor of worlds beyond our own. What started out as an innocent exercise in the imagination ultimately became a bottomless well of inspiration. My hand wouldn't dare rest, sketching furiously as he described the indescribable. For a while, I wondered why he was so eager to share his visions with me. To him, they seemed to be a burden, a source of great pain and distress, but finally I understood. He sought to share them with someone who saw them as a source of beauty rather than madness. So, did Thomas have the same abilities as Marianne? It looks like I can interact with that, but it's not letting me. There's a sense of loneliness coming from it. It feels... incomplete. Okay, so I'm missing something. Hold on, what is it missing? Oh... Well, I don't possibly see anything it could be missing. Yeah, there's this door, but it's locked. Hmm. 
What am I missing? Oh, I'm in the daycare and I gotta find something for this globe, but I don't... I don't know what it's missing. What could it possibly be missing? I don't see anything the globe is missing. Okay, so where do I get the key for the door? I can't use a bolt cutter on it. God damn it. What am I missing? Oh, there's 100% nothing in that room. I've already checked. Oh, come on. Bone, do you remember? No, I stopped at the pool area and that's it. Oh, you didn't go to the daycare? Mm -mm. Fuck. What the hell could this possibly be missing? That globe. There's a sense of loneliness coming from it. It feels... complete. Uh, I mean, a ball? Possibly? I don't... Hmm. Damn it, Lone. Well, why didn't you continue? I need help. Are you trying to get like that key or one? I'm. Yeah, I need a key for a door, and I also need uh, one last piece for this music sheet. But I'm not sure. Like I've checked the room I'm in. There's nothing here. Well, nothing else here, anyways. And I can't go outside of this room because there's a bunch of those moth things. And I don't have any spirit energy. I'm assuming I'm going to get the spirit energy from the globe. But I'm missing a piece to activate it. So. I'm kind of stuck. I bet it's in, like, the, I gotta do the stupidest thing. Well, not stupidest right. thing, but I gotta do something, and I'm just, like, incredibly fucking stupid about it. Oh, I can still... Yeah, that's right. Oh, wait. Well... No, it... Focusing on the spirit world's not going to get me anywhere because I need to be in. I wish there was a button for me to focus on the real world and leave my spirit body behind. Because if there was, I could definitely, you know, do some things. Don't you think? What about? All right. Wait. I can use Spirit World to get into this room. Fuck, why didn't I think of that? Okay, come on, there's gotta be something. Oh, that's what the glove's missing! Eee! Oh my god. I figured it out after, you know, me being an incredible dumbass. Okay, focus. No, I don't want to focus on the material world. What do I. Want? Oh, I see what's going on. No, no, no. I need to get that one. It's making a face. There. Another junction. Maybe it 
can show me a way out of here. Okay, let's go all the way to the right first. Let's see what this has first. Oh, okay. And get to the other side of the room. Aha. Okay, there's that. The spark's too weak to absorb. It's like it's missing something. Mmm, the memories. The music, the music! Ah. Oh. Okay, so I just need to find the last piece of sheet music. There it goes. I love this melody. It reminds me of my childhood. Uh, at least the good parts of it. But mm -hmm. the bad parts. They're always there. Aren't they? You're a very smart girl, Lily. You know that, don't you? You're special. Her voice. Is that sadness? You're seriously just figuring out Lily is sadness? Aha. Uh -huh. The key I needed. Awesome. Blown. You went back to Game Chat. Game Chat. That crap. Sorry. No, uh, I'm watching your stream on Pin Oh, uh, so Thomas, the dude that called us here, he's the one that I think is really sad. He's also the architect of the whole place. Look that guy. He's a bait. <laughs> well, see, I think Richard is the creature chasing us. Uh, okay, okay. I, I think. I, I don't know for sure. But Sadness said something about the creature being uselessness, rage, and something else. And then when I entered a, the daycare, that's pretty much what Mary Ann said. So I think that creature is Richard. And I think Richard might have been the first kill, so I, I don't really know. I think Richard was definitely the first sad death of Eva. Come on, Richard. You were always there when I needed you. Let me return the favor. Uh, I don't know, Thomas. What about my work? The university? Um, Richard, I know they kicked you out. I'm guessing you finally managed to piss off the right people. Stay with us, old friend. Do it for me. For them. So okay. He brought him here. Thomas brought Richard here. Wonder who he meant by then. In fact, he begged Richard to stay. Um No. There it goes. So that's how you found him? Yes. He was just lying there. He, uh... uh beat that. I oh, mean, game champ. Wait, okay. you can call me in the stream. Uh, I'm okay. sorry. He was a friend. I just... Uh, need a moment. That's not true, Thomas. You thought he... deserved it. Okay... Once he got engaged, we grew apart for a while. Now that I think of it, I guess I was jealous. I no longer had him for all for myself in time. I warmed up to her as well. She was stri she was striking both in her beauty and intellect. Eventually, I accepted the fact that he was that he has found true happiness, true love, strong and pure, well as pure as it can be, I guess. In any case, I was no longer needed. When the project came along, the only the one that would eventually be known as Neva, I pulled all the 
all my strings to get him what he wanted. Even though I knew it would drive an even bigger wedge between us, I wanted the best for him. He was the closest to a son that I'd ever had. I think that's what he really wanted. Ah. Pieces of the score now. Okay, now I can go back to the piano, get my spirit stuff, get past the moths. Ah. If the camera don't mess me up. Um, there we go. Ah, uh, where am I? Oh, there I am. Okay, now I go to the left. Oh, I didn't see them for a minute. Go, 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 go. Okay. What is here that sadness wants me to see? Is that Richard? Is that him? Oh wait, all those things are coming from out there. Marianne, we're not going to even comment on the giant arms. Okay. Guess we're not. Okay, I see that up there. What's this? <coughs> I was finished. They had to let me go. Me, Richard... Tark Tarkowitz. Whose, whose works were recognized all across the continent, whose imagination, as I said, knew no bounds, whose very name became synonymous with fine art. All of that meant nothing to these soulless bureaucrats. To them, I was just a liability. The source of dangerous liberal ideas. I felt betrayed. Empty. I needed to get out. Away from the hollow sickness of the city. But most of all, I needed a friend. And so, I sought him out. I knew his wife had died some months earlier. At the time, I thought it best not to interfere with his grieving. And so now, I fear that he'd hold it against me for not being there when he needed when he needed me the most. In fact, he offered me a home. Well, some people are just that caring. But what happened to him to put him in the wheelchair? That's Lily. Lily drew the picture. Oh, Richard. My arms are getting tired. You've been drawing me for hours. Almost done. You know, Lily, you remind me of someone. A girl I knew when I was very young. Did you love her? <laughs> yes. With a young, innocent love, free of the ferocity of adult lives. Ferocity? That's a nice way of putting it, Richard. I'm getting a weird vibe from him. There's grief, sorrow, and something else. Okay, there's something over here now. If this is going the way I think it's going, Aren't you a bit old to be playing with dolls? Here, I bought it especially for you. Oh, a ribbon? It's beautiful. Thank you, Uncle Richard. Here, yeah, let me... Um, on the other hand, why don't you do it yourself? Okay, maybe it's not. Ah, uh, what was that? It's like something stirred inside him. Oh... Uh.
No! I didn't mean to... Oh, God! What have I done? It feels... cold. What have you done? Nothing good, I suspect. Uh. That's just all sorts of creepy right there. I had never felt anything so desperate. It was calling out to me. I wanted to so show me something. So you sit in it. Poor Thomas. I thought I could protect her. Idiot! What would you think of me? I failed you. I failed us. It's all falling apart. What? Hello, Thomas. Who are you talking yes, to? Yes, I know. No, I need to be sure. There's got to be something around here. You want what? Fuck! <sighs> Look who finally decided to let me out of my cave. Thomas is like Marianne, or was. Surprise. Surprise. Hey, you know what? I'm not in the mood. Just tell me what you see. Come on. Come on. Yes. I can feel it. Okay. It's around here somewhere. Oh, well, that's real fucking specific. Hey, I'm trying to help here. Well, you know, sometimes I wonder. Well, it doesn't make it easier when you keep me in the dark for so long. Oh, Christ. Thanks for that, by the way. <laughs> Hell of a way to treat your soulmate. God damn it! There's nothing here! There is. Really? I'm never wrong about these things. You know that. Well, screw this. I should have known better than to listen to you. Wait, what? There. There. Where? What? So somehow Spirit Thomas and Thomas got separated, unlike Marianne. Yeah. Both parts of her are together. <laughs> I guess because she embraced it? You building tension? Grab the fucking thing! Would you shut up? Huh? Okay. Is that thing spirit, Thomas? It's her. It's her. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. P page after page. It's 
like he's obsessed. What has he... What have I done? So you put him in the wheelchair. I have no... I let him into my home. He was like a father to me. How could he do this to her? F fucking bastard! How could he? I told you we couldn't trust anyone but ourselves. Keep it together. Think. What do we do now? Put him in a wheelchair. We wait. And when he comes back... Oh, just... Whoa, 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 easy, Tiger. Remember what's at stake here. Let me do what just I do. Let me do what I do. You better do it fast. Because if you don't, I will kill him. Oh, he eventually died, that's for sure. Thomas. I wasn't expecting you. Is uh, everything all right, my friend? Did you do it, friend? Did I? What? My daughter. My 13-year-old daughter. Hmm. So is 13. I entrusted her to you. Thomas. Did you do it? I... I don't... I found the sketchbook. Forced myself to look through it. Cover to cover. Every single fucking page! Tell me you didn't hurt her, Richard. Thomas, please. Tell me I'm wrong, Richard. Tell me, and I'll let you go. I... It wasn't me. Thomas, you have to understand. There's this thing inside of me. Shut up. Oh, oh, oh. You, you have to believe me. I wanted to die. I'll make it quick. Thomas... I'm so sorry. She's my daughter! I, I, I never wanted any of this. I, I, I should never have come here. But you did. Knowing she was here. Knowing what she means to me. Thomas, I, I swear I'll go away. You'll never... Wait. What are you? No. Let me out. Let me out. Let me in. No idea what he did there, but anyone who's a parent knows what Richard did. And I would kill someone for that. So the hands outside is Richard. Fucking long ass cutscene, holy shit. <laughs> oh, I know exactly what it's implying. They're not outright saying it, but I know what it's implying. This cancer is spread far enough. Time to cut it out. Spirit Thomas looks different than Spirit Marianne. Right. Just, ah, I'm over here trying to use right joystick to look at him. Yeah, he's all kind of like how sadness is, kind of broken a bit. All right, Richard. This is your world. 
Show me what you're hiding. Is this where it started? Yeah, let's Richard, just say Richard is despicable. Broke you, made you what you are. Oh. Okay. So there's going to be spirit combat. That didn't work as intended. Oh! Oh, if here. I get the counterattack, it's strong. It Got it. That day when she came to it. It took over. Made itself at home. Okay, this was Thomas's house before he built the Neva. Loss. Wait, no. Hatred. Grief. This place reeks of them. Richard think something you put into the word chair and tell Neva. It changed Richard forever. No! What the hell? No! Leave her alone! This is it. Richard's mm. big, ugly secret. The sum of all his demons. Whatever it is happened when he was a child. Well, we know where child Richard went, but the question is, how did we get there? <clears throat> a pocket knife. Richard, you you better go and bring it to him. Gotcha. Uh, all right, I'll play along for uh, now. Hold on, what did that say? No, oh, come on, why is? No, I went back too far. Okay. I understand why Thomas is pissed. I so understand that. What did she say? Richard. Your father forgot his knife. You better go and bring it to him. Okay. Got your knife. Oh, thank you, Richard. You know what? Why don't you keep it? But it's your lucky knife. And now it's yours. You'll need it. I'm leaving tomorrow. What? No! Hmm. But where are you going? The army is heading out west. Okay, his father is in the army. With I don't want you to go. I don't want to go either, son. But sometimes what we want isn't what's important. Do you understand? I... When will you come back? Take care of your mother, Richard. You're the man of the house now. Oh, I actually get open door. Okay, I was expecting them to go back more. That's fun. All right, I'm locked in here until I figure out what to do. Um. Okay. By the sweat of your brow. Okay. Those tentacles are guarding something. We need to get rid of them. You shall rise and you shall fall. 
about her. Don't think it's bothering me. Till you return to the earth from which you came. Why are his parents' face blurred? What items do you have? We just have the knife. Um, hmm. Oh! I brought an R2. Can I have any? I do. Um, hello? Do I want to let me use R2? Did I break the game somehow? Okay, there's gotta be something I'm missing. It's not letting me use R2. Use R R one. <coughs> Did I break the game? Oh wait, hold up! I didn't break the game. Aha! To dust you are, and to dust you will return. Fire went out. As government representative of the Polish Republic, I wish to offer my deepest sympathy and regret in regards to the passing of Lieutenant Thaddeus Tarkowitz. He whose loss you mourn died in the noblest of causes. His country will be forever grateful for the sacrifice he made protecting our freedom and independence. Grief, anger. I can only... That explains the grief that he feels. Me. Rose is the girl that Lily reminded what? him of. Hey, wait up. Hmm. Okay. Well, which way do I go? Come on, Richard. My arms are getting tired. Almost done. And that is exactly what he told Lily. Come on, Slowpoke. Okay, what's this way? this means to me. Where'd you go? Oh, I just backtracked. What? 
Ah, uh, doesn't this pack go forward? What? No. Oh, oh, here we go. Right here. But what is it? It's um, something very important. Promise me you'll keep it safe. <laughs> this way, silly. Okay, I Rose? Rose. I think I'm starting to get a little lost. <laughs> Over here. There you are. I was afraid you'd get lost in there. Oh, I'm out. Me? Awesome. I've been waiting here for ages. I was starting to get bored waiting for you. Hey. Hey. You see that? A storm's coming. Mm. It's a big one. We should probably go. Same spot tomorrow? I'll be there. But she wasn't there, was she? <sighs> cute, Richard. Real cute. So, where do we go from here? Oh, hey, the hallway's normal length again. I can feel something's not right. You think? Mom! Who is he? He's... He's someone who can take care of us. But I can take care of you. Oh, shit. I promised Dad I'd protect you. I know, honey. And he would be so proud of you. But sometimes, a brave heart is just not enough. Now I see what happened. Still a piece of shit, though. But I see what made him that way. Hey, come here. I need you to do something for me. I need you to bring me that thing. You know which one. Yeah, real specific. Oh, hey. You gonna attack me? Okay, I guess you're not gonna attack me. I think I can see is that one's missing. There's something to put on. No. That goes. Taking so long. So the chair? Is that what he was saying? The pipe? I'll smoke when I feel like smoking. Real man chooses tobacco anyhow. Oh, I got it wrong. Okay. Um. Do I still have the pipe? I don't have the pipe. I'll smoke when I want to smoke. Real man. Is this what you want? I was hoping this is what he wants. Hey! You put that down, you little thief! You hear me? Stupid little brat. Real fucking charmer, that one. What am I supposed to grab? You want the beer? Is that what you want? The beer? Cause you sound like a drunk, you piece of crap. Oh, you little shit. No. I'll teach you some respect. Oh, come on. What the hell did you do to me? <laughs> Stay back, or I'll cut you in 
again. Ungrateful little fuck. Get the hell away from me. <sighs> Gladly. I somewhat feel sorry for him, but he's still a piece of crap. This place again, but not the same time. Richard! I should be going. I'm sorry. It's all right, Rose. We can finish some other time. Richard, where are you? So it started off as an innocent drawing. H Hello? Richard, come out! Sorry, that's all I could bring. But that's all right, Richard. It's more than enough. Don't worry. I'll keep you safe. I'll keep you safe. Yeah, like a step that the piece of crap. Get the hell away from me. Okay, Richard. I get the picture. Doesn't change a goddamn thing. Kind of does. <clears throat> Kind of crap Mommy? childhood. What's going on? Shh, shh, listen to me, Richard. Listen to my every word. Some men will come to our house tonight. But why? What do they want? Shh, it's okay. I told them to come. The hell is this? No! Stay away from me! It's to stay back! Mm. Okay. 
pain to deal with his stepfather. Get away from me, you bastards! No! No! Let go of me! No, please don't! No, that's kind of what you get for being such a piece of crap. Gotta be something. Oh, wait, there's something. Any son of Poland who collaborates with the oppressor. Who steals from, denounces, or otherwise acts against his compatriots. First house on the left, right next to the river with the old cherry tree in front. They're hiding them in the pantry under the floorboards. They let them out sometimes to stretch out, usually later in the day. Some of them even go out sometimes, probably looking for food. Best to come at night. Oh, that was Rose. That's why we were giving them some... Richard was giving Rose food. She was being hidden. <coughs> 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 It's an unforgivable crime against Jewish. the motherland. Oh, I should be swiftly punished. Couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. Oh, he hung himself? <laughs> or got hung? <laughs> I don't know if he got if he hung himself or he got hung by other people. Got it. This is getting tedious. Rose, where are you? I'm sorry. Fuck off. Fuck off. Now, if I can find my way through this. Please come out. Yep, she was Jewish. Ah. Ow, I didn't see that one. Okay, so he made friends with the little Jewish girl that was being hidden. Timing on that Gross. is hard. No, no, no. Please wake up. Wake up. I don't think she's going to wake up. She's gone. I'm missing they a cracker somewhere. You took her from me! <laughs> My mom told me, like, you better That's get right. pizza, huh? Because I'm not gonna cook. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get him to do this. I'm gonna get him to do this. Ah, I'm lost! Ah. I didn't know Dude, that. This... <laughs> no, this place is just like a maze. Oh, okay. That's that's what it is. It's like a maze, so it's hard not to get involved. Oh wait, I did interact with that, so I didn't do nothing. All right. No, I, I have no. Hmm. You're not nothing. You're just a little kid. I think I'm out? Okay, there we go. I did get lost for a minute though. This is it. Wow. So that's what those hands were. No. You're not 
Rose? Is that you? Oh, I'm gonna have to fight the thing of Marianne, aren't I? My precious little love. Okay, that could be out. Bye. Lily. Your people. Oh crap, Richard. Thomas didn't kill that thing because that thing's outside on Marianne's side right now. Let's get this over with. Oh, this hero Thomas seems to be a bit of a badass. There's Thomas, or Richard. Help! Somebody, please help! Over here, kid. Please, mister, I need help. The monster, it's after me. Monster, you say? And what does this? monster look like sir there's no time hurry we have to get out of here it's okay richard why don't you take a moment to catch your breath do i know you mister are you one of my stepfather's friends no kid <laughs> I'm not planning on making any friends here. I'm here just for you. Uh, what? No! Don't come any closer! Don't touch me! I'm sorry, kid. I know you tried to run, to hide. Get your hands off me! But as long as you're here, the beast will always find you. Richard. Spirit Thomas is kind of an asshole. It was pretty overwhelming at first. Thomas being like me, but different somehow. I guess I don't have to tell you. <gasps> oh shit, those things are going towards me. Oh, come on, Marianne. You shouldn't have sat down. Thomas? Who the hell are you? <laughs> Oh. That's what he did. Hunted. Hounded. His whole life hiding, hoping they wouldn't find him. I gave him shelter. I gave him purpose. He could have been so much more. Instead, he chose to rot in this godforsaken place. Mm. You're him, Richard. I'm what's left of him. Yeah, I think that. Wound, the sand drying on the stump. All because of her. Her, her, her. Like the girl who suffered because of you? The one you preyed upon? She oh. came to me. Lily. She had nowhere else to go. Where was her father then? Where were you? Oh, shut up. 
Stop acting like you ever cared about her. She was the light of my life. The warmth of my soul. Your soul has rotted away. There's barely anything left. No, now, it's just your sins. I almost feel sorry for you. You're nothing. I don't. You be sure. <laughs> Hey Thomas, if you're still alive, can Spirit Thomas come save my ass? That'd be this great. Man. Thomas, what is he? He's the one who butchers the soul, the one who breaks it. But you, yes, I know you. You can set me free. I can feel it. Please do it. You don't deserve it. You deserve nothing. Nothing. Do you hear me? Then give it to me. Please. Do not exist. That's all I want. So be it. Do you think she'll ever forgive me? Rose? Hell no. I'm not your judge. I'm just the fairy man. Be gone. Richard. This time, your name is Rose. It wasn't just a feeling, it was a memory. Had I been here before? Was I a part of the puzzle? This man, Thomas, was he a part of my own past? Well, you were a part of Richard's, though. You're Rose. And you had burn marks when you were three because people were hiding you. And then something clicked. And the house got burned down. That girl. It's me. But it looks like it was taken here, at Neva. Wait, what? You were at Neva? Shit. Okay, now I'm even more confused. The red house. Whatever it is, I can feel it out there. Like it's calling out to me. There. In the woods. Yeah, I ain't making my way through a forest right now. I will do that when I come back. 